Okay, so this is a video on two story problems. I've already provided you with a video on how to draw the pictures for these two problems, so make sure that you refer back to YouTube for the previous um, videos on how to draw the, the pictures. So I'm not going to talk at all about drawing the pictures here. So after you have the picture drawn, I want you to notice that I have three angles here. And all three angles will add up to 180 degrees. I realize that there's already a right angle marked in there, but that's because we've already done the math on that uh, during class. So let me walk you through it really quickly. If you take 180 degrees and you subtract out 58 degrees 40 minutes and subtract out 31 degrees 20 minutes, you are going to be left with a 90 degree angle. So it's going to be your right triangle here. Since I have two legs, then I can easily find out what my a hypotenuse is simply by doing the Pythagorean theorem. So the first thing I'm going to do is just set up leg squared plus leg squared equals hypotenuse squared. Personally, I go ahead and get rid of the square that's on the x, and I take the square root of both sides, and that's the line that I enter into my calculator. Once I enter that into my calculator and I round properly, it actually ends up being 1124 or 1123 point something that makes it round to 1124. Don't forget about your label there. So you have 1,124 miles on that one. And the directions do say that you should round to the nearest mile. So then the second example, this is the ship question, and notice that we are going to be using, just get a different color here, uh, we are going to be using north, uh, north, south, east, west concepts. So make sure that you go back to the video and watch um, how to use the north, south, east, west, because that, I promise you, will be on, or something like it will be on your test. So the first thing that you'll want to, want to do here is to be able to get some of the letters. Now, I did mark the right triangle here, the right angle, and um, that was from before. So pretend like you don't know that. The first thing I'm going to uh, tell myself, when I, when I go and look at the question, it says, how far is the ship from the beacon the first time? And so point A is the ship the first time, and so this side right here is the distance to the beacon from the ship the first time. And so we're going to call that side B because it's opposite angle B. And then this next question is how far away is it the second time? And so that's going to be side A. And so the first thing I have to do then is to be able to get some angles inside my triangle. I have no numbers inside my triangle. We know though that the the north line and the east line have to meet at a right angle. So if my story problem has already told me that I have an angle of 46 degrees 50 minutes, all I need to do is find the complement of that angle to get the angle that's on the inside there at point A. And when you do the math on that, 90 minus 46 degrees 50 minutes, you're gonna get 43 degrees 10 minutes. And do the same thing on the other side of the triangle. And you, when you do 90 minus 43, 10, you're going to get 46 degrees, 50 minutes. And now it's very simple to find the third missing angle of the triangle. And uh, you add those two together, subtract from 180, and you're going to get 90. So this ends up being a right angle. So now that I have what I need, let's go find out how far the ship is from the beacon the first time. You might need to pause the video because I'm going to move through this pretty quickly. So side B then, notice, is we're going to choose angle A to focus on. Side B is adjacent, and the 32 miles is going to be the hypotenuse. So adjacent and hypotenuse, that is all taken care of through cosine. Cosine equals adjacent over hypotenuse. So I set up my equation. I go ahead and multiply on both sides by B stick that into my calculator, and I find that side B is 23.3397 miles. I was not told how to round on this one, so I'm using Robert's rounding rules. Um, I'm going to go ahead and continue to focus on that angle A, the 43 degrees 10 minutes, for, part, for the next part. Side A 
is going to be my opposite, while 32 is still my hypotenuse. Opposite and hypotenuse is going to be taken care of by sine. So I'll set up my equation. My sine equation is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Multiply on both sides by 32. Put that into the calculator, and I'll get 21.8919 miles. So that was the lesson from section 8.4.